welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be trying the Sensational Cloud9 Wet Lace Synthetic Wig in the Style Solana. This is a really popular wig, a popular synthetic wig that I really wanted to try out and see for myself if it was worth it or not. So first off, my hair is already braided as you can see and I'm using my got to be gel and I'm just licking my edges back so I don't have any hair left out. This gel does leave a white residue but it's under the wig so I don't mind that much. This is the wig cap I'll be using for my hair and this cap obviously is darker so it's going to be a lot easier using this one. Um, I am going to be using the bald cap method for this um, hairstyle also so I'm kind of just speeding through it. I will talk through of how I do it but I do have a lot more videos of how I do a ball cap method so I'm putting it over my ears and like past my forehead and I'm using my got to be free spray and I'm spraying that on like my hairline then I'm using my blow dryer and I'm using that on that section of my hair I'm kind of doing section by section when I put the spray on just because I don't want a bunch of like uh, free spray running down my face you know so I went ahead and did that um, and I'm just continuing to blow dry each part and make sure it's completely dry so once my glue is dry um, I'm going in with my powder foundation and like I said earlier my wig cap is darker so this part is so much easier to do I don't have to put so much powder on it so that it blends in and like looks right and I'm continuing to put that on my lace on the cap now I'm going in with scissors and I'm cutting off the rest of the wig cap. And then sometimes I have pieces of the cap that like roll up a little bit. So I like to take some got to be gel and I put that on there to smooth it out. And then I'm going back in with my blow dryer and I'm blow drying the part where I put the gel on. Now for the wig, this is what the wig and the packaging looks like. I got this wig in the color number four. Um, so it's like a brown like chocolatey brown color um this is what the back side looks like it tells you i think like instructions i'm not sure i didn't read it but it's some stuff on the back there for you to read and then this is what it looks like when you take the wig out when i first ran my fingers through the hair i didn't have any shedding any tangles anything like that which was a good sign also kind of later on in the video i didn't have a lot of shedding either so that was really good um, also in the wig, it has one clip in the back and then it has two clips in the front here. I don't ever use the clips in the front, but they're there for if you need them. Now it's time to put the foundation on the lace of the wig. Um, I use my same powder foundation, same brush to put it on the lace. And this is what the wig looks like when I'm done putting the powder on. Um, inside, this is what it looks like. I didn't get all the way in the back, but it's fine. Um, I went ahead and put the wig on my head to see if it was, you know, the right size. It was a little bit small when I put it on. I don't know if anybody else had that trouble, but it kind of did affect later on when I put the wig on because I kind of ripped the lace, but you'll see that later on. Um, so now I am, I went ahead and I cut the lace into the three sections I usually do. So now it's time to lay the lace down to glue the lace down. I'm using my same got to be gel and I'm using the end of my comb. I'm doing it section by section, um, blow drying it, making sure it's tacky before I put the lace down. This part, I didn't really show the part of me ripping the lace, but it would kind of slip through my fingers, I guess, because I would try to like pull it forward and it wouldn't go forward I guess because I don't know this wig either is too small or my head is too big I don't know but this wig was a little bit snug on my head but yes I'm doing that and I'm continuing to do it on the rest of the hair parts the rest of the sections Once I'm done with all three sections, I'm going back in with some powdered foundation. Um, I feel like I didn't 
like drag the color down enough when I colored the lace in the beginning. So I'm doing that and I'm kind of fixing it up. And now I am just brushing the hair back. I'm trying to focus it on the front part of the hair. And I'm taking this, I don't have an edge uh, scarf. I have like a do-rag and I'm taking the strings from that, I guess, and tying that around. I need to get an edge uh, scarf for myself. But yeah, I'm taking that part and I'm tying it down and I want this to sit on my head for probably like five to 10 minutes. So once it's been sitting on my head for about 10 minutes, I went ahead and took the scarf off. Now I'm cutting off the rest of the lace. And here I'm using a wipe and I don't like to use an alcohol wipe when I do this part but I use a wipe like a makeup wipe and I put some Vaseline on it and that works just as fine. I just don't want to put um, alcohol on my face like that so I just use that. Now I am done um, with that part. The hard part now is doing the edges. So I'm using my, um, my same edge brush that I always use. I'm pulling out all my edges that I want to try to use. And yeah, you can just watch me try to do my edges. Like I said, this is the hardest part for me because sometimes it can turn out good, sometimes it doesn't. So just watch me do my edges. So once I finish with that, I'm taking my hair down. I didn't do my edges like kind of towards my ear just cause I don't do that anymore. Especially cause this wig is not like plucked like that. So I just decided to not do them. Now I'm brushing out my hair. Um, and yeah, I'm just brushing out, getting any tangles out. It wasn't really a lot of tangles at all either. I'm using a little bit of mousse on the front part of my hair. Um, cause I'm doing this like to set it for overnight, I guess. Um, cause I am gonna put a scarf on it and come back later on. So yeah, I went ahead and let the mousse kind of sit in there. I'm brushing the hair out um, with that little brush that I had. I'm using some more of these free spray also just to flatten my hair. I felt like on one side I had a lot more volume than the other side. So the next day, this is how my hair is looking. Um, I did put a scarf on it and slept with that overnight. Now I am brushing my hair out and I'm focusing that brush on the front part of my hair also and then just towards the ends of my hair. The ends were a little bit drier than the rest of my hair so I kind of focused it on that part also. But this is how my hair looks when I am done. This is the final look. This is how my hair looks um, and how long it is on me in the front part of my hair um, and then how long it is in the back. It's not too long. It's not short either. It's a nice length. It is a little bit on the thinner side also, but it's fine. And this is what the back of the hair looks like. It does have like a track showing just because I have all my hair pulled to the front. So that space is kind of left out there. But other than that, this hair, I'm going to give probably a 7 or 8 out of 10. It is nice. It does not shed. It doesn't tangle. The only thing I had is that the wig cap could be a little bit bigger and the actual wig itself could be a little thicker. But with all that being said, hope you guys liked the video and everything. Thing I showed and if you did make sure to like comment subscribe for more content and more videos for me and I'll see you in my next video bye